Hey YouTube, I thought I'd make another quick update video on my battle wagon. I've been working on it for a lot of the day today, um, mostly during the 40k radio show. Uh, if you haven't listened to that, please do so. It's a great show. That's 40kradio.com. And you may have also noticed that I changed my intro music, and that's because I started using some royalty-free music from the same website as I mean, wargaming.com gets their music. So if you want some good stuff, there's a lot of good stuff there. And you don't have to worry about uh, DMCA takedowns if you use royalty free music. So, anyway, here's where I'm at with my battle wagon. You can see I got the passenger compartment just about done. And if you look carefully, you can definitely see the difference between the stock battle wagon, which is in gray, and the area I've added, which is in white, it's quite a bit bigger. I'm almost afraid that it's too big, but once it's all put together with all the uh, extra bits, it's pretty much in proportion. The rear salt ramp works, and magnetizes to stay up. The boarding plank is also working, and magnetizes to stay in place. very lovely diamond plate plastic card on the inside here which is by the way twice as expensive as any other plastic card out there for some odd reason. I also used a lot of the original battle wagon uh, parts here and in the back and here uh, on my compartment simply because it just saves so much time so much easier and saved a lot of detail work I still have to put rivets on the back, but I need to find some or get some smaller rod so that the rivets are closer in size to the original rivets, which was a suggestion given to me on the war forums. I do have a work in progress thread on the war forums in the mix garage if you want to see some still pics. And I will be posting up there regularly. And I also went and magnetized my turret options which was almost as time consuming as the passenger compartment just because there's so much uh, engineering so to speak to do with that. You see I magnetized the main turret, magnetized this little small turret up here, got a magnet on the bottom of the main turret, it sticks in, yeah you can actually lift up the whole battle wagon and I got a magnet on the small turret in the main turret. So here's what I've got to go in those two holes so far. First one is this, which is going to be the the bit that does a has a guy shooting a big shooter, and the grot turret bit. Of course, I haven't built the rest of the turret yet. Obviously, uh, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do some weapon options on that. And then lastly, I magnetize this little orky cover plate here, so I can choose not to run any weapon at all. So it gives me lots of options on how I want to configure this thing. And of course, the Reinforced ram is magnetized. Of course, that's mainly for painting and transport than anything because it just fits nicely in the back. So, once I make some foam for it. Now, I do think the passenger area might be a little too big, as I said, but once you get the reinforced ram on, everything comes into proportion quite nicely. And in hindsight, I probably would have left the tracks unglued for easier painting, or maybe even figured out some way to move them back a little bit, because uh, I think they're too far forward for the passenger compartment, but I ain't redoing it now, that's for sure. So anyway, that's where I'm at my battle wagon. And I still got quite a bit of work to do. I had to figure out the weapons for the main turret. I can do a cannon. I'm not sure I'm going to use the cannon that came in the kit or use a barrel that matches the rest of the cannons in my army, which is a lot smaller. Uh, but I think I'd rather do the consistent consistent barrel size. And instead of the garage turret, I'll probably make it so I can run a rocket in addition to the big shooter, or maybe even twin linked rockets or dual rockets or something. And I might even make up a kill cannon barrel for this. I don't know. But of course, that's all going to be magnetized or. Uh, a rod and tube system some way to make it so I can change out the weapons 
Uh, so that's where I'm at, and I'll make some more videos as soon as I get some more updates. I'm sorry about the audio of the background setting. I was trying to clean that up, and I was not able to do so. It must be from the seven computers I have running around me. So anyway, I'll talk to you later, YouTube.